Anthony Robinson and Kelly Broomfield, and we are underway. Washington State, we're in the home rights. They've got crimson and gray as their color scheme for Von Ley is open for three. She misses, but Quay Miller is there for the O board. Gets it back into Nettie. Nettie, nice turn and hit. Von Ley gets it ahead to Foreman, who catches up to it. Sherrod waiting for teammates in black and gold inside Devon Lay. Double team comes and it doesn't matter. Wow, that was tough. Shot clock getting low. Wallach recognizes and hits. Big triple from the Canadian. I know mom and dad. Colorado. Well, right here, just miscommunication a little bit and Sherrod slow to close out. And again, Wallach having the height advantage, so she had a clip. Both. I've said it for Jenna, but both are not afraid of the big moment, and they're going to need to grow up real quick. Oh, Frida Foreman, hello. What a move. Is won by Colorado. Sherrod coming out of the pack with the basketball. Foreman for three. You betcha. Boy, that trail three is such a weapon for Colorado. You have got to locate her in the first quarter. Alex Colfield standing 6-6, checking in for Washington State. Nice bucket there with that as well. She's from Elisa Day, Italy. Gets it back to Murica Tete. That'll work. Sherrod in the trees. No problem. Wow, that was a nice jumper. That was tough. That was tough over Murica Tete. Jalen Sherrod doing what super senior things do. She averages almost 14 a night. The game now by providing insight from the bench. Sarah Rose Smith, say hello to Alex Colville. <laughs> All six foot six inches of her. Five on the floor for Colorado. As there's another turnover, AT knows how to finish. Up close, are starting to pile up for Colorado. Great job reading the pass, jumping the passing lane, getting, that's as equal. Well, that rest definitely gave her a little spark. Sadler leaving it for Charlotte Whitaker. That was effective. Just to see that camaraderie was really touching. It was. They just chatted there for a little while, and they just hugged in. You know, what do you say? You, usually, you just got to hug. And the Buffaloes. Weta leaving it for Sadler. Sadler creating some space and hits. Tamia Sadler has one more year of eligibility to be. With that, we will step aside. Oh, are you enjoying this as much as we are? I know it's only the first week in February, but man, this game has a March feel. Wallach spinning and hitting. A terrific start for Tara. She's got... We'll take a look right here. Tara Wallach getting the screen from Coville, and then she gets just enough, but then she realizes that, hey, if I stop... And here come the Buffaloes. Frida Foreman inside Devon Lay, who runs the floor so beautifully, and an and one opportunity for Nettie. And you've got to love that your guards are feeding the big. You have got to transition. So you pick up the three pointer point shooter, but then you've got Von Lay filling the lane. And two <laughs> that's that athleticism. Nobody stopped ball, and it's an and one opportunity for LA. Too deep. And then Villa, with this little runner jumper, she is. Five and a half to go, second quarter. LA attacking and hitting. Um, she comes in as a transfer from Idaho. She's really experienced player. Put up a bundle of points at Idaho and rebounds. Really could go in there and that could be her key. Foreman thought about the three, Frida. At the elbow, nothing but net. Boy, she is a nice shooter. It's a foul. Right here, you've got to come out and respect Foreman's three-point shot, but then just keeping her dri We have been tied 10 times. Tara Wallach to untie, and she does. She's into double figures with that big three. She's got 10. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Tahina turning the corner, trying to get it back to Bella. Recovers at the elbow. That's nice. Tahina has 10. Colorado facing its largest deficit. Who do they go to? Aronette Von Ley. Yes, and I think that's ex very intentional, right? Establish her down low. Boy, Bella Mercatete is so happy that Colorado <laughs> just keeps putting the basketball in her bread basket. Sadler earning a trip to the free throw line with a terrific take. 
right here, just getting downhill and keeping her focus. Look at those eyes up there, focus. And she has been a spark plug for the Buffs today. The lead back down to three. L.A. Pula makes it six again. Both Sadler and Sherrod have been denied at the rim. Frida Foreman won't be denied from long range as Frida now is into double figures with 10. Under three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Foreman, heat check, you betcha, she's got 13. Back to back triples for Frida before the fourth. Foreman, triple, splash. She's hit three threes in this quarter. She leads off. So right here, you have got to stick like glue to Frida Foreman. She is in the He is just four away from taking over the all-time rebounding lead here at Washington State. Villa at the elbow, nothing but net. 7% from the strike. This is the second, but a great rebound by Von Ley. The putback is good, and it's a three-point play opportunity, and that is the first thing. Right here, just going straight up. Yeah, anytime you bring nine rebounds, which means she's too shy from the all-time WSU record. Murica Tete up and in, has the basketball. Inside Devon Lay, there's the double team against 6-6. Six, six. Are you kidding me, Nettie? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this, as she catches it, she gets deeper into the paint. It goes away from the help defense of Murica. Eight minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Colorado up 48 to 44. The Buffs using that 6-0 run at the end of the third to take their largest lead of the day as Wallach finds some daylight. The hands of Murica Tete, but here's Wallach looking for that to rejects the screen, but keeps her dribble alive. Doesn't stop. I don't think Pac-12 women's basketball is the best conference in the country. You have not been paying attention. Right? Yeah. Just point blank. <laughs> Tahina rises and hits. Foreman open for three, and that's a problem. She has got 19. And Jalen Sherrod is there for the rebound. Skip pass to Frida Foreman. Bella blows by her, and Foreman buries the triple. The Buffs' largest lead of the day with under three minutes to go. Foreman leading all scores with 22. She's blocked by B that time. Look at this. Hand up. You can't. Got to keep a hand up. Von Ley with a 20 piece for the fourth time this season. Buck and a half on the clock. Tahina, the take and finish. Von Ley gets it to Sherrod. Shot clock getting low. Sherrod recognizes and fires. Oh, what a dagger from the super senior Sherrod with her ninth three pointer of the season. This Sherrod shot coming out and she just got the space and then Tahina tried to go. J.R. Payne burning this last one to advance the basketball. Sherrod saying, come catch me, come foul me, and Gardner does. Well, that and she was very smart. Just really boosted that up. So Washington State's got to go. L.A. Villa running into the defense, floats it up. It doesn't fall, and Quay Miller with rebound number 15. That Shania Twain vibe go, right, <laughs> right. man? She wanted to help continue to grow this basketball program at Washington State. Wallach off on everything. Shot clock is off. Tara gets that three to go. Her second triple of the night, but it might be too little too late. Does best. Get free to form in the basketball. Yeah. Rely on Von Ley in the paint. And count on Quay Miller to crash the glass. Yep. Yeah, definitely a huge, huge great job on the glass. When you're not shooting so great, won the battle of the board 50 to 38. And that will do it as Colorado is unable to come up with a last foul call to stop play. So the Buffaloes will win at 63 to 57.